Now in my last lecture I talked about permutations. Now I'm going to start talking about combinations. So again, imagine you're visiting a zoo that only has six animals, and I ask you to record the first three animals that you see. At this zoo we have a tiger, a lion, a monkey, a zebra, a walrus, and a snake, and I want you to record the first three things that you see. Now I'm going to take the numbers away so it's not confusing. Now in the first spot there are six different animals you could see. But in the second spot, because you've already seen one of the animals, there are only five things you can see. And in the third spot, because you've already written down two of the animals, there are only four different animals you can see. So if we were to multiply all those things, we would get 120. There are 120 permutations of animals. But now realize if you get something like a tiger, a lion, and a monkey, there's actually six different ways of writing those same three animals. Now, when we're talking about combinations, order doesn't matter. So these six entries that we have here, they only count as one thing because it's just the same three animals. So, what we have is the combinations format, which is pretty similar to the permutations format, it's just a little bit different. Still, N stands for the total number of objects you have, and R stands for the total number of objects you're picking. So in this case, we have six different objects, which are six different animals, and we're picking three different animals. So N is six, and R is three. So in the equation, whenever there's an N, I put six, and whenever there's an R, I put three. Now you see these exclamation marks next to the numbers, and that might be a little bit confusing, but let me show you, that's actually a factorial. When you have a factorial, like factorial 6, for example, you just multiply all the way down until you get to 1. So factorial 6 is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Like if you had a factorial 4, it would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So now back to the formula, I'm going to plug those things in. So it's just like that. So it's going to simplify down to 700, 720 divided by 36 equals 20. Now, if we were doing permutations, we would have gotten 120 permutations. But remember, in this case, we don't care about the order. We only care about the three animals that go into it. So that means that we're just going to end up with 20 possible combinations of three different animals instead of 120 permutations of animals. So that's a combination, in which case the order doesn't matter. And also just remember what a factorial is.